Hello, welcome to basics of finite element analysis part 2. Today is the third day of uh, this particular week and we will continue the topic of discussion which we were having in the last class. So, in the last class what we had covered was we are trying to find the value of k i j and uh, the, the function f hat is defined here in equation a. So, for this type of function and we are assuming that psi is a quadratic function. So, using these approach uh, uh, assumptions we developed three psi functions psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 and also developed expressions for their derivations. So, our next step is that we have to calculate the value of f hat. Okay. So, actually what we will do is, so let us say that we want to calculate k 1 1 for the eth element. Okay. So, in this case i equals 1 and j equals 1, i equals 1 and j equals 1. So, the expression for k 1 1 for the eth uh, element is and it is given here k i j e equals f hat i j evaluated at t th quadrature points multiplied by uh, quadrature weight for the tth point and then I sum uh, these things from t is equal to 1 to 3. So, first let us write down the expression. So, it is equal to f i j evaluated at zeta t tth quadrature point and then I am also multiplying it by weight and t changes from 1 to 3. I am choosing 3 because minimum acceptable value of uh, r was 2, but here we are choosing 3 because we have want to do an isoparametric calc uh, formulation for isoparametric situation. So, if I expand this I get, so i is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1. So, it is f 1 1 hat evaluated at t is equal to 1. times w 1 plus f hat 1 1 evaluated at second quadrature points zeta 2 multiplied by w 2 plus f 1 1 hat evaluated third quadrature point multiplied by accompanying weight. It is not a weight function, it is a weight, it is a number it is not a function. And here we had assumed that a is 1, we had assumed that a x is 1. Okay. So, before we, so let us write down the expression for f 1 1 hat. So, now, so this is let us call this equation a and then f 1 1 hat equals d psi 1 over d zeta and psi 1 is a function of zeta hmm, times d psi 1 zeta over d zeta times j right. This is what we had developed psi 1 prime times uh, psi i prime times psi j primes times j that is f hat function and i and j are 1. So, that is why psi 1 psi i prime is uh, psi 1 prime psi j prime is psi 1 prime and you have j and j is equal to h e over 2 and this I can in brief write it as psi 1 prime times psi 2 prime. This is the definition of weight fun, uh, this uh, f hat right. 
सो के वन वन ई इक्वल्स एच ई ओवर टू सो हियर आई शुड हैव वन बाई जे विच मीन्स दिस शुड बी टू ओवर एच ई so this gives me 2 over h e now so i am going to put b in equation a i am going to put equation b in equation a so i get the entire expression as so f11 hat evaluated at uh, zeta 1 and what is f11 hat so psi 1 prime is Minus one plus two zeta divided by two, and this gets multiplied by itself for k one one. So I get minus one plus two zeta divided by two, whole thing is square. And this function is going to be evaluated at zeta one, and it has to be multiplied by w one. Plus f one one hat evaluated at zeta two, so in the bracket the expression doesn't change. Minus one plus two zeta divided by two whole thing square evaluated zeta two multiplied by w two plus minus one plus two zeta by two square. Times W three, and this function is evaluated third quadrature point. So this is my expression for k one one. Now what I do is here zeta one equals. If I look at the table which I had given earlier for three quadrature points, zeta one equals zero. And the associated weight function is zero point eight 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 eight. Okay. For the second part, zeta two equals zero point seven seven four five nine six, and the associated weight is zero point five 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 five. And for the third one. Zeta three equals minus zero point seven seven four five nine six, and W three equals zero point five 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 five, and so on and so forth. So if I plug this in this term, this in this term, and these values. In these terms, then I can calculate the value of k one one. So my k one one, it comes out to be. If I do all the calculations, what I get one get is k one one e equals two point three 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 divided by h e. Understood. So this is equation C. So everyone understands how we will calculate values of k. Now we will do two more examples. So three more examples. So now let's do. So now what we will do is we will recalculate. K one one e. With R equals two, do we expect that we will get correct answers with R is two or not? We should get uh, uh, that answers are correct because we had calculated the that the value of minimum value of R should be two. So let's do the calculations and see whether we get it the same answer or not. So, so K one one E, if I use R is equal to two, then 
the expression is f i j evaluated at teeth zeta point multiplied by teeth weight and this t varies from t is equal to 1 to 2. So, here r is equal to 2, so I am just doing it twice. Okay. So, this is equal to or this is f hat. So, this equals f 1 1 hat evaluated first quadrature point times first weight plus f 1 1 hat evaluated second quadrature point times second weight accepted. So, from here I get 2 by H e into minus 1 plus 2 zeta by 2 whole square. What does this mean? F 1 1 is what? F 1 1 is this entire expression. So, this entire expression does not depend on r. So, this does not change. So, that is why I am not see this entire expression f 1 1 hat it only depends on indices i and j r does not come into this picture right. So, this expression does not change. So, this will be evaluated at first quadrature point times first weight and then again minus 1 plus 2 zeta divided by 2 whole square w 2 evaluated at second quadrature point. Now, what are the values of zeta 1 and zeta 2? What is the value of r in this case? r is 2. So, the table which we had developed we will not use this one rather we will use this line. Okay. So, the values of zeta 1 and zeta 2 are plus minus 0 0.5773 and the associated weights are 1. So, zeta 1 equals minus 0 0.5773 w 1 is 1 here zeta 2 is equal to plus 0 0.5773 weight is 1. And if you do this math you will find so all you have to do is now just substitute these things so it is straightforward. So, the answer you get is still 2.333 divided by H e. D. So, in case uh, D uh, C R was 3 in case D R was 2. Now, we will do one more calculation recalculate k 1 1 e when r is equal to 1. So, we do this recalculation. So, here k 1 1 e equals t is equal to 1 to 1 f i j hat evaluated at t th point times t th weight. Okay. And this will have just one single term. So, the expression for this is 2 over H e 1 plus 2 zeta minus 1 plus 2 zeta divided by 2 whole square times weight 1. And here and this is evaluated zeta 1 and zeta 1 zeta 1 equals if you look at your uh, table for r is equal to 1 zeta 1 is 0 and weight is 2. Okay. So, the answer from here what you get is k 1 1 e is equal to 1 by h e. 
So, this is E equation E when R is equal to 1. So, you see that for R equals 3 we get correct results, for R equals 2 we get correct results, but we do not get correct results for R equals e, uh, 1. If I use R is equal to 4, I will still get the same results. So, these are correct results, but I am getting a different number when I am using R equals 1, because the assumption that R should be 1 is incorrect, because it does not meet the rule that R should be equal to p plus 1 divided by 2 or the next higher integer. So, this is important to understand. So, we will do one more case. So, here we had calculated k 1 1. So, both the first index i and j they were having the same value. So, we will do one more calculation to make things if there are any, any other lingering doubts. We will also calculate k 1 2 e, where i and j do not have the same index. So, if that is the case, then using this formula, using this formula, first we write down the expression, this is equal to f i j evaluated zeta teeth point multiplied by teeth weight t is equal to 1 to and here let us assume that r is equal to 3, because that 3 is working and we want to do isometric, isoparametric formulation. Now, here i equals 1 and j equals 2. Okay. So, this means this is equal to 1 over j times f excuse me f 1 2 evaluated at zeta 1 point times w 1 plus f 1 2 hat evaluated second uh, quadrature point times second weight plus f 1 3 evaluated zeta 3 times third quadrature point. Hmm? Oh, I am sorry, yeah, it should be 1 2. And f 1 2 hat for zeta is equal to 1 over j psi 1 e prime psi 2 e prime. Hmm? So, k 1 2 e equals 1 over j. So, psi 1 e prime the derivative of first function we had calculated is this derivative of second function is this one. So, it will be minus 1 plus 2 zeta divided by 2, this is psi 1 e prime multiplied by minus 2 zeta and this entire expression is evaluated at zeta 1 times w 1 plus minus 1 plus 2 zeta by 2 minus 2 zeta entire thing evaluated at second quadrature point times w 2 plus minus 1 plus 2 zeta by 2 times minus 2 zeta evaluated at zeta 3 w 3. So, once again our zetas are for r equals 3, these are zeta 1, zeta 2 and zeta 3 and these are the weight functions w 1, w 2, 3. So, I will just write down the same things. So, these individual numbers we calculate, add them up and j is equal to h e by 2. 
So, we put it in and what we get is k 1 to e equals minus 2.6666 divided by h e. Okay. So, this is the overall methodology for doing numerical integration using Gaussian quadrature. So, finally, if I have to calculate my matrix for the eth element, then it looks like something like this 2.333. So, this is k 1 1, k 1 2 is minus 2.667 k 1 3 is 0 0.333 and this is a symmetric matrix. So, k 2 2 is 5.333 and this number is minus 2.667 0 0.333 minus 2.667 2.333. So, this is my k matrix. As when uh, 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 for quadratic psi functions and r is equal to 3. So, we have done isoparametric formulation. So, likewise we can also develop mass matrices f vectors or whatever using Gaussian quadrature. So, this concludes our discussion uh, for today. Uh, in the next class, it, uh, we will do a recap of this entire uh, Gaussian quadrature scheme and also we will talk about briefly about another quadrature, uh, quadrature scheme known as Newton Coates quadrature. And with that discussion, we will close the discussion and coverage of numerical integration and move on to two dimensional problems. So, that is the conclusion and uh, thanks a lot, we will meet tomorrow.